Union Station to Hollywood and Vine in 18 minutes. Impossible, you say? Well, not anymore. And no, Scotty isn't going to beam you up over there, and it's not a helicopter. It's something that's new to our city, and many of you may have never used one before. It's the subway. I'm going to take you on a tour of your Red Line Metro subway that runs through downtown L.A. Here downtown, it connects with the Metro Blue Line that runs out to Long Beach. We're building the subway underground all the way to the San Fernando Valley. As is the case with anything that's new, people always have questions. And in the case of our Metro Red Line, the first question is, just how safe is a subway, especially here in L.A.? What if there's an earthquake? Do I really want to be down there? Well, the truth is, being underground in the metro is one of the safest places you could be. Let me explain. The surrounding earth absorbs most of the shock. The round oval shape of the tunnel is naturally resistant to earthquake forces, and the subway was designed and constructed to withstand a major quake. For example, the columns in the stations add strength. The struts and beams in the ceilings add strength. The reinforcement materials in the walls and the ceilings are all continuous, and rebar ends are always lapped over each other. Other key joints have rebar running completely through them. Another thing to remember, when you're above ground in a major quake, buildings shake and sway, glass breaks and falls, bricks, even whole walls come down. When you're in the subway, you're totally protected from swaying buildings and falling objects. As a matter of policy, in any quake of 4.0 or higher, we will close the metro system temporarily for inspection. Do you remember the 7.1 San Francisco earthquake during the 1989 World Series? The Bay Area subway sustained no major damage and no loss of life. BART was back operating the same day, within hours of being inspected, and the subway commuter set an all-time ridership record. Our metro system meets even more strict earthquake standards than BART's. And during the last series of earthquakes and aftershocks, there was no damage. Now, let's go on down into the station. Another question that I get asked regularly is, about security. It's a fair question. Look up there. You see that? Closed circuit TV. So who's watching? The Metro staff at CCF, the Central Control Facility. They can see everything in the entire Metro system. They can see you coming in and out of the station or waiting on the platforms. They know where every train is at every moment, and they can talk directly to any one of the train operators at any time. Through those closed-circuit TV cameras in every station, they can see you using the ticket machines. Once more, their computers can even tell if a single machine is low on change or tickets. Naturally, the central control staff is in immediate contact with the fire department and the law enforcement officers patrolling the system. Oh, yes, ma'am. We'll have officers there to assist you momentarily. Just stand by the passenger assistance phone. Over here, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. How can we help you? I lost my glasses. I can't find them here. Do you have any idea where you may have left them at? Probably down there by the train. Well, why don't yeah. we go down there and see if we find them? Okay. You can personally talk to the CCF if you need help. Look for this sign. Just press the button and talk to them if you have a problem with a ticket machine or a question about the schedules. But especially if you or somebody else needs emergency help. So, bottom line, you will always have assistance when you ride the metro system. Law enforcement officers patrol the trains and the stations. They're there to help you. CCF constantly monitors the entire system, and if you want to talk to them, you only need to push a button. As we walk along here, I want you to notice something. When we designed this station, we made sure there wouldn't be any shadow areas or places where someone could hide. The interiors are bright and open. Don't forget, our stations are not open 24 hours a day. When the trains stop running, the access gates are locked. This is a transportation system, not a place to hang out in. 
During these off hours, the stations and trains are cleaned. Tracks, equipment, and the power sources are all checked and serviced. Passengers with disabilities or in wheelchairs will enter the station via the elevator. Again, glass doors for good visibility before you enter or exit the elevator. Come on, let's go over to the platform. For your safety, only passengers with tickets are allowed on the platform. Look around. We didn't pass through a turnstile or a gate. You just buy your ticket and hold on to it. Inspectors will make random ticket checks, so if you don't have a ticket, the fine can be pretty stiff. We know that the honor system works because 98% of the passengers on the Metro Blue Line pay their fares. Remember I said they could see you on the platform? If you stand too close to the edge, they'll Attention warn you. Attention at the Pershing station. For your safety, please move away from the edge of the platform. When you wait for the train, stand back from the edge. You can feel that the floor is a different texture here. Look. See? It's rippled. Stand behind the rippling. And please, don't lean over the edge because the trains come in fast and very close to the platform and you could easily be hurt if you get hit. <laughs> this is no place to play around. Wait patiently. The trains come in every five minutes during commute times and about every 10 minutes during midday. And parents, keep a close eye on the kids. For those of you who are first time subway riders, look down here. The train runs on those two rails. That third one is the power source, 750 volts. So you don't want to touch it or fall on it because it could be fatal. The end. Like we said earlier, this is a transportation system, not a public park. There are no stores down here, no restrooms, no cafes. We don't allow eating in the stations or on the trains. There are plenty of food and service stores outside, up on the street. OK, here's a train. Notice it's clean and free of graffiti. We have a policy never to send out a train that has any graffiti in it. Just like the Metro Blue Line, a train doesn't run unless it's completely clean. There's the wheelchair space. In the station, the operator checks to make sure everyone's boarded before he closes the doors and takes off. If you have a problem and you need to talk to the driver, just use the intercom. <sighs> the ride? It's quiet and it's smooth. <laughs> oh, don't forget, from time to time, the officers come by and check the tickets. Now, let me say a little bit about what happens if the train should ever stop in the tunnel. First of all, it's extremely unlikely that the train would ever stop due to a power failure. That's because that there's a backup power source for all the trains. But if the train should stop, follow the directions of your operator. He or she will tell you how long the train will be stopped in the tunnel. The operator will, of course, be in direct contact with the staff at CCF. If the operator wants you to leave the train, he will open the door next to the walkway. And this is what you'll see. The tunnel will be lit because there's a backup generator and battery lights that are checked regularly. There's plenty of light. Did you notice there's only one set of tracks here, just as though we're on a one-way street? The other tunnel is right next to us. We'll walk to a cross passage. There's one every 800 feet. Use the handrails. By the way, it won't ever flood in the tunnel because automatic sump pumps down here pump the water out of the tunnel and into storm drains. A passenger in a wheelchair would be directed to leave it on the train and the operator and other passengers would assist or carry the person.
Here we are. This cross passage connects us with the other tunnel, and there's a phone into CCF. Now, they already know we've stopped because our operator has notified them. But also, CCF knows where we are because their computer tells them. Note, the door tells you how far it is to the next station. Although we could walk, CCF would probably send a train to pick us up in the other tunnel. Back here at the station, we can use the normal exit, but there are also other emergency exits throughout the system. Wide double doors. Well-lit corridors. People with disabilities or unable to get up the steps would wait in safe areas until Metro personnel can assist them. This door opens right to the street. Good evening. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Count Safety, and this is my subway. <laughs> These safety procedures I'm explaining were developed by all of the emergency fire life safety agencies that work together throughout the city. Because the Metro subway is a new facility, all of the emergency agencies that could conceivably be involved have been participating in drills and simulated emergency scenarios. We set up a real life situation and then activate a complete response procedure. What I'm saying here is that these units are well trained and they know our metro system backwards and forwards. Another big point. All during the design and building of the subway, we took special care to make sure it was fire resistant. The tunnels and stations are all made of non-combustible, non-flammable materials. Look, concrete, ceramic tile, steel. And the Metro vehicles are made of state-of-the-art materials that meet the highest standards in fire resistance. We've installed methane gas detectors throughout the tunnels and the station. They automatically activate ventilation fans, as well as a warning signal notifying CCF, who would immediately send a response team. These sensitive detectors warn central control long before any gas could build up to a harmful level. Sprinklers have been installed in all the equipment rooms and in the track bed of the platform area. If there were a fire on the train, the operator would bring the train to the station and the sprinklers would take care of any flames. There's nothing on the platform to burn, but say some papers ignited. Passengers or metro people could use one of the many handheld extinguishers or hoses to put out the flames. So, let's put it all together. We want you to be aware of all of the safety features that were built into the metro subway, not only for your protection, but also for your peace of mind. One, CCF, Central Control, monitors the subway 24 hours a day. You can talk to them. Call them for assistance by simply pushing a button. Two, we have law enforcement officers assigned to the Metro Red Line subway exclusively. They patrol the stations on the street level, inside on the platforms, and on the trains. They know how the rail line operates, and they are there to protect and assist you. Three, the entire system was built to be safe even during a major earthquake. The subway and its trains were designed to be fire safe. Lastly, our Metro Red Line undergoes a rigorous daily inspection. Lights, power sources, tracks, communication systems, and the trains all get attention every single day. Your Metro team wants you to feel comfortable and secure when you ride the red line. As citizens of Los Angeles County, we have all made an investment in the Metro Rail system. Make it pay off for you. Take a ride on the Metro Red Line.
it's your safest bet for getting there on time.